So, the developer direct just happened and... And I'm not impressed. Just, I'm just not. Not much was shown and it mostly seemed to be a lot of marketing fluff. However, I'm still going to talk about what I saw. Up first is Obsidian's upcoming game, Avowed, to release in fall of 2024. It looks like it has potential, but it also looks like a 360 title. Obsidian's previous track record, i.e. Outer Worlds, wasn't great. Gameplay does look fun, though. Using magic and guns and different weapons honestly seems like it could have a lot of potential. So I'm going to have to at least try it on Game Pass. I only hope that it's better than Outer Worlds. <laughs> Up next is Ninja Theory's Hellblade 2. Skip. No physical release. So it's a skip. Support physical media. I mean, yeah, the graphics look good, but they're going to be outdated in a year or two. Look, I know I just gave Avowed flat, but at least it has an aesthetic style. This is just trying to look like pretty graphics with no real art direction. I know that's weird to say, but it just looks like it's trying to have high-end graphics rather than an aesthetic style to it. So it's just not that, it doesn't look that interesting to me. Aesthetic style will always be better than high graphical fidelity. It's also strange that the first game is multi-platform where the sequel isn't. That's just weird. Square Enix Visions of Mana. Not interested. I never had much interest in this series to begin with. And apparently this one is multi-platform. So if you just hate Xbox, you can still get it on the PlayStation. When I originally wrote this, I thought it was exclusive. Aura. It's Civilization, but it's not Civilization. It, it just looks like Civ 6. I've never been one for RTS games. I've tried Civ 5 and 6, but never really knew what I was doing. So this is a skip for me, but this one's also exclusive to PC. Indiana Jones. I'm going to be honest, I'm not that interested. You don't play as him, you are him. Oh my god, that is dumb. It's just marketing fluff, but that's Bethesda for you. Just marketing fluff. And it's an FPS. That's, that's weird. I mean, maybe it's just a me thing, but when I think of an Indiana Jones game, I picture a third person action adventure, not a Wolfenstein clone. And there's that modern audience's take. That has me worried. Disney Star Wars and, well, Indiana Jones were for modern audiences, and we all saw how that turned out. Oh, boy. It just doesn't look all too impressive to me. I mean, the graphics look okay. It could be fun. Seems like they got the personality right. But it's just a maybe for now. And that's all I've got to say. C clearly nothing else interesting has happened in gaming services and no studio anywhere has had an absolutely dog shit horrible take. Okay, fine, we'll talk about Ubisoft. Oh, Ubisoft, what the fuck is wrong with you? We need to get comfortable with not owning our games. Okay. Fine. You need to get comfortable with me not buying your games. And you need to get comfortable with going bankrupt. I am paying for a game. I am purchasing a product. I am not buying software. I could understand licensing for software like Adobe Premiere or Photoshop or just software in general. I am buying physical hardware. A you should not have the ability to take away a $70 game that I paid for with my fucking money. All I'm going to say is this. It is a take a lot of people have had. If purchasing a game is not ownership, then piracy is not stealing. Fuck you, Ubisoft. As for updates, I guess I can just talk about now. Trails in the Sky 3 is going to continue as normal. I'm actually almost done with the game. So, I don't know how long it's going to be. At least 40 parts, at least 40 parts long. I need to learn how to fucking talk. Don't know what we'll cover after that, but I guess that's just all we're going to have to, to talk about. That's We're going to have to wait and see. I'm the Dark Seraph signing off. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. I don't have hot takes.